poppin t squad it's me keisha and i am here with a brand new spill the tea video well you guys it seems like love is in the air when it comes to our favorite hollywood celebrities there are new relationships on the horizon folks having babies child like i am just like oh what is in the water and give me some please because it is dry as a fucking sahara desert over here love don't live here anymore child <laughs> like seriously okay so let's get into my first story okay did you guys know that big sean and janae aiko are expecting their first bambino the rumor had been going around for like the last month or so but nobody had confirmation until tmz caught them um uh, coming out of somewhere and obviously janae is very much pregnant she looks like she's about a good four to five months in this picture she looks beautiful that is going to be a cute a little nugget it's going to be so cute they have features that i feel like will really compliment each other um i think that it's going to be a look cute little brown baby with just gorgeous skin and a head full of hair it, it's just going to be a cute little nugget um don't know what she's having whether she's having a boy or a girl i'm getting boy from her i don't know why i think she's gonna have a boy but then again i'm looking like oh she might have a girl oh i could just see a cute little chocolate girl oh oh my god that baby's gonna be gorgeous um but yeah i'm super excited for them they have been together for years now you know they had took a break for that minute and then they got back together um i i wonder if they're gonna ever make it official official like move in together remember she had got that big tattoo of him and then she got it covered up i hate it when she did that i hate it when she got that tattoo because i'm like girl that is a curse of death um <laughs> and they sure broke up after that and she had to get it covered up but um i wonder if they he gonna go ahead and make it official and lock that down and wife her or whatever because um they make a great couple do great music with each other and um, now they have a baby together, which is really sweet, really, really sweet. So I can't wait to see what's going to happen between these two. Looks like they'll be having a fall, winter baby, probably. So, yeah, that is so dope. Next up, I just recently found out that Sasha Obama is dating Clifton Powell's son. And for those of you who don't recognize the name Clifton Powell, you know him from movies like Friday, Next Friday, Woman Thou Art Thou Loose, Menace to Society, Ray, Rush Hour, Dead Presidents. I mean, he has starred in pretty much every black film you can think of. He is legendary in the business. And his son, Clifton Powell Jr., has been dating Sasha Obama for the last past year. And when asked about it, this is what he had to say in a very recent interview. I want to ask you about this. So it's been a rumor that your son, Cliff Powell Jr., is dating <laughs> Obama's <laughs> daughter, Sasha, man. Tell yeah. us more about that you, did he come to you for any advice like what's, what's that look like uh, that's amazing because you know they've been going out for about a year and it just hit the press right so it has helped me talk to Clifton about how to handle Sasha Obama because we love the Obamas but Mr. Obama has a daughter that's dating my son and I have an opportunity and a responsibility to make my son responsible gentle, kind, loving, and supportive, the things that I did not get taught. So I text him all the time and I said, treat Sasha like you would want somebody to treat your daughter. That's what's up. You better raise him up right, Mr. Clifton. Yes, ma'am. I mean, yes, sir. <laughs> well, um, his son and Sasha make a really cute couple. I'm happy for them. I, you know, it's young love. Who knows if it's going to last, but they seem happy with each other right now. That's all that matters. And he has a really good father that is teaching him how to treat a woman and respect a woman and love on a woman, which is very, very good. I'm happy for for them oh that's so sweet i remember when sasha was just a little little, little thing now she a grown-ass woman out here 
dating and stuff yes ma'am go ahead on sasha love her and last but not least I have been having my eye on Pretty V and Rick Ross. You know, rumors have been swirling for months now that they are a item. First uh, wind of this potential or relationship that's going on between them came when Pretty V started doing campaigns for his Bel Air champagne and she was promoting it. But what caught my attention was, you know, the very intimate, sexy poses that she would do with Ross. And I'm like, mm, okay, maybe it's just for promotion. You know, it's just for the look or whatever. But then um, on January 28th of this year, she posted this picture amongst other pictures of them together. And she captioned it, I thank God for you and the opportunity to work alongside of you. Heart emoji. I'm forever grateful for every moment. You are such an inspiration to all to us all. Like I told you earlier, you've become someone I don't play about. Let's continue to pray and make millions. It's too easy. Happy birthday, Ross. Keep being the boss that you are. Thank you at Official Bel Air for bringing the beauty and the beast together. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. And, you know, some of the other pictures that she posted, you know, was a post of them in the bed. And she kind of looking at him across the way all sexily and shit. And I'm like, mm, either they, you know, really good friends or there's something a little more going on here. And uh, I was correct. <laughs> Very much correct about that recently when she was interviewed on the social so society uh talk show on the all black network she was asked by kendall kendall about her relationship status and this is how she responded what's going on in your love life who you got i know <laughs> <laughs> oh geez. you know i have to wake it up you know i have to wake it up no. what's going on who is, i know you got somebody you ain't finna be this damn fine <laughs> You ain't about to be this damn fine and out here just single and not mingling. I have friends. A friend with an S. <laughs> I have friends. I have really good friends. Okay. Mm -hmm. so you have? Is it one really good friend? <laughs> <laughs> it's one really good friend. Okay. Yeah. We leave it at that, huh? <laughs> Girl, who is it? Who is it? <laughs> it's one really really good friend okay. and really like um i've learned so much i'm so i'm such a student i love like being around older people i love to really like learn so, he so older. much mm -hmm. okay. so I, um <laughs> okay i love the vibe so I'm, I'm i'm learning throughout this industry and i really have friends but i have a really really good friend okay yep now i just read to you all her birthday post to him and how she was talking about their friendship and him mentoring her it all adds up to it being rick ross that she's referring to ain't it somehow these older niggas is dating these little young heifers um him and diddy and uh, putting them in the we friends zone <laughs> so that means that they can still do them and fuck with other women but um you my friend a oh, child jesus the christ i mean but least they both getting something out of the situation with, with these friendships. You know, she get the Bel Air campaigns and whatever else she getting out of Ross. And Carisha over there getting podcasts and candle lines and nightgowns and shit out of Diddy. So go on ahead, young girls. Go on the fuck head. I just have an issue that Pretty V is dating somebody with titties bigger than hers. <laughs> It's quite unfair. It's quite unfair. You know, I just hope when they're having sex, it does not make her feel inadequate in any kind of way. You know, when she's on top and her hands is on his chest, but it's like she's cupping breast and not just a flat surface. But then when he cupping hers, it's a flat surface. <laughs> A lot going on here. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, Ross keep a chick. He keep them going in and out. You know what I'm saying? 
hopefully he treats her right they're only friends in quotations but you know we shall see i got further confirmation from this past bet awards show and the interview that she did with Ross on the red carpet that everybody was talking about. Take a look. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Pretty Bean. Look who's behind me. My bae. <laughs> What's the bae? That's right. It's like, what we in? We gonna keep them out of our business. <laughs> mm-hmm. Y'all ain't do a good job of keeping folks out your business because that hot breath was all in your face young lady <laughs> you can't tell me rick ross breath don't smell like bacon bits <laughs> you just can't tell me. <laughs> that was a damn good joke and then she posted this like recap of the day and peeped the clip that she added in of her and rick ross now i don't know about you but this look like boo things to me, child. This just don't look like no casual acquaintances or my homeboy. This look like somebody that really like this man and this man really like this woman. I guess y'all know I don't like fat niggas, but you know, it's somebody for everybody out there. You know what I'm saying? Um, I wish them the best, you know, on whatever they got going on over there. It seems like whatever they got going on is making her happy. You know, I just hope that, you know, when they lay down with each other, he wash underneath his stomach. <laughs> and y'all know that I showed y'all that video of Rick Ross' feet. Let me just remind you all what's going on in those Fendi, Gucci, Ferragamo's, Balenciaga shoes. What is really going on inside of those thousand dollar expensive shoes ladies ladies morning glory got a rich feet you could come oil up moisturize you hear me ladies gotta rub those corns in them toes you hear me? ladies ladies morning glory got a rich feet you could come oil up moisturize you hear me ladies Gotta rub those corns in them toes, yeah. You know, if nothing else in life proved to me that the devil was real, it was that video. Because <laughs> God would never, my God would never, would never put us, me, you through witnessing that. That. His feet look like the monster on stranger things <laughs> it is oh god you you gotta like a nigga to let him put or even come near you with those could you imagine them playing footsies in bed <clears throat> oh god jesus christ oh no he would peel the skin off of her legs if one of those green gang green toes of his came in contact with her skin you can't tell me she don't like him to look past them titties that stomach and them feet you know millions got to be involved for a bitch to have rose color glasses on when it comes to that shit and you know that nigga cross-eyed. Oh, God. Got a cross-eyed and a lazy eye. Oh, Lord, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Bless her, pretty V. Bless her. Bless her, child. I'm done. I can't take no more. My stomach hurt now. I need a Sprite or a ginger ale to set up my stomach after looking at them feet again, child. God bless everybody involved, Lord. Lord, don't let her procreate with the man, Jesus. Oh, Lord, don't do that, pretty V. Don't you do that. Don't you do that. Don't you do that, girl. Let's talk down below what y'all think about this um, alleged uh, coupling. Let's talk down below in the comment section, you guys. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like it, subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.